the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. Hey, it's another day, right? Have you checked your fruit today? Have you checked your fruit today? Have you tried to see how your internal characteristics of the Holy Spirit dwelling in you being manifested out of you? When people come around you, do they see love of God in you? Or do they see selfishness? Do they see joy or do they see depression? Well, today, if you check your fruit, let's focus on peace. Hey, everybody want peace, right? Come on now. I don't think anybody in the uh, that listen to this segment, this, this little short video reminded you of checking your fruit today. God gave you this day. How's your peace? That's what it's all about, right? How's your peace? Now look at it. Here's the scripture that tells us, that reminds us of the fruits of the Spirit. I like using this. It's, it's always let the scriptures speak for themselves, right? This says right here, Galatians 5.22, but the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which means patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, which means faithfulness, meekness, temperance, which means self-control against such the the law. Have you checked your fruit today? I put some scriptures down here to deal with peace. Philippians 4, 7. And the peace of God who passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Colossians 3.15 said, And let the peace of God rule in your heart to the which also you are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Ephesians 2, 13 to 14. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who were, ye who sometime were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who has made both one and has broken down a middle wall petition between us. Come on now. I, you know, have you checked your fruit today? Are you operating in peace? Or are you operating in distress? Are you operating in being depressed? Why? Because you gotta understand, it's not based on the outward conditions of life. It's based on the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in you. That's the whole purpose of being. That's what the good gospel, that's what the gospel's about. Is being connected to God, being a life substance, so that when you come under situations, when you need strength, the joy of the Lord is your strength. When you need peace, He passes. God gives you the peace that surpasses all understanding. Because when we lean on understanding, we have a tendency to see that it's kind of hopeless. But when we recognize that we have God on our side, now we move from being hopeless to being hopeful, being understanding that He is going to bring me through. My foundation is not based on my condition. My foundation, my peace is not based on me or people or stuff. My peace is based on being led and, and dwelling and abiding in Him. The scripture said abide in Him. See, the one thing we can focus on is abiding, abiding in this world, abiding in the condition of this life for this world. Have you checked your fruit today? And if your fruit, if you're not bearing fruits of the Spirit and carrying this in the future, where are you abiding? Where are you depending on your peace? Where do you think your peace is going to come from? Because if you're right, if it's, if it's based on you, you ain't going to get it. If it's based on people, it won't happen. But if it's based on him, you got it. That's why you say, have you checked your fruit today? Have you talked to God today? Did you wake up and recognize him? And if you wake up and recognize your whole existence is dependent on you or people, this is a depressing situation. When you recognize your existence based on Him, you have that peace. Have you checked your fruit today? I hope you did. I'm trying to as well. Amen. 
this is easy, but at least we know where we need to go. Study the word, spend time with him. Get his peace, not yours. All right? Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you next time. We remind you of another fruit, all characteristics of the fruit. Amen? God bless you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.